so hi welcome back in this our class we'll be looking at um, more of the functions that we introduced during the last class remember we uh, saw how we could use the sum function to calculate the total value seeing that adding each of the different cells one at a time can be so time consuming so the function sum help us to achieve the same result very very fast so here we have the same table and we are asked to find the minimum value the maximum value and we are asked to count the total number of uh, items and we are asked to find the average so we'll uh, quickly go into that right away so to find the minimum value it is as good as uh, starting off with equal to so with your equal to you type in min so the excel function that calculates the minimum value for you is min so you select the range of values where you want to get the minimum value you close up your uh, brackets and you hit enter and it finds the minimum value for you so also for the maximum value so you start typing max so the excel function to find the maximum value is max so select your range of cells close it up and hit enter okay so the maximum value here is a hundred thousand so the count you just counting the total number of cells that has data in it so equal to you start typing count okay so I hit count then I select the range of cells and I hit enter so it's trying to tell me that 12 cells has data in it so for the average equal to so for the mathematicians or the statistics for those in statistics they will see it as mean M E A N, but here we have average. So you start start typing average. So we have average. Then you select your range of cells and hit enter. All right. So with that said, let us see the effect of uh, changing the data on count. Our data is twelve. As it stands now but supposing we suddenly delete the budget for April see what it uh, what happens to the outcome of count it changes towards 11 because April uh, suddenly has no value okay so supposing we now delete the outcome for September see what happens to the overall value for count as well as the total all right so this this shows how count works is very simple and straightforward now there's other ways through which you can achieve this quickly okay so supposing uh, looking at this table here supposing I want to find the total uh, for this same table instead of typing in equal to okay I can quickly use this um, auto sum here and it does the calculation for me automatically yes excel is smart all right but this smartness uh, actually still has its limitation suppose I now go ahead to calculate the average using that same method with my uh, the active cell selected and I still use the same method you notice that something will happen it will forget that total is not part of the data we want to work with and it now go ahead to select both total and our data and if I eventually hit enter the average value gotten will not be correct okay if you notice it's different from what we have here so always be careful when using the this particular option on your ribbon All right so with that said uh, I'm going to quickly so I have this table here I'm just going to explain more 
about the count functions we have the count the count a for count all and the count blanks we are going to see how they differ uh, between uh, themselves I'm just going to delete the value or the score for that particular student okay I'm just going to delete the score for this particular student and change it to a string okay so we are just trying to model the data just to uh, see what happened I'm just going to make another delete uh, I'm just going to delete the score for that particular student so it's empty okay we already know how to use the count function so equal to count all right so you have the count and you select your range of cell so what count does is to uh, just count the number of cells that has numeric values okay that has numeric values okay if you notice uh, two of the cells are empty and one has a letter or a string uh, data type okay so so we go ahead to look at the count all which is count a so the count all actually count the cell that contains data irrespective of whether it is numeric or uh, string data okay even when you when a cell is empty and you hit a normal space that space is considered as data because excel actually still recognizes it so from here you notice that we have 18 okay 18 cells has data contained and two are empty so you equally agree with me that count blanks actually counts the uh, cells that are blank okay that doesn't contain any data value so it's just very very simple concept okay so the count family so eventually we'll look at the conditional count if and count ifs in uh, the advanced class so this explains the counts we'll be looking at more functions in future uh walk us through through the tasks that will be uh working on so in this tax we have student record so we have uh, uh 20 records of, of students with their age and their different subject score subject score over 100 and have overall score so for overall score over 300 that is uh, the total sum of the three subjects so you get your answer here then um for the average score for the whole subject for each of the subjects you get your answer here average score for this particular subject at you get your answer here so you do that for uh, the remaining boxes so it's just a very simple task just to illustrate what you've learned thank you very much